Something weirdly that I've seen quite a few fellow designers struggle with recently is that they can't make sections full bleed. And what that means is they can't reduce the gap at the top or the bottom of a section on the Squarespace websites. And I've helped solve this for a few people in forums and in my own community, Six Figure Design Club. Links to that in the description if you want to check it out. But basically there's a, a clear need on a ton of websites for uh, a full bleed section. And what that means is, let's say you can reduce the, the padding on the top and the bottom, and you can have an image, let's say an image on the right, and then text and a button on the left. And you want the image to touch the top and at the bottom, and then probably the side of that section as well. And some people just, just don't know how to do it. So realistically, it's a really simple fix. You just toggle one button and it's done. So I want to show you exactly how to do that now. Okay, so first of all, what I want to do is show you what I mean by full bleed. So if we go into the editor, I'm going to add a section here and we'll use this one. So it's got a bit of padding at the top and at the bottom. And if I press G to bring up the grid, you can see the grid sits within these boundaries. So we've got padding to each side and then padding on the top and the bottom. Now to the side is fine. If you want a full bleed section, you can just drag your image out and it's going to sit flush against the side same with the text if you wanted to move that don't know why you would do the text but you can and it just sits against the side now if you want to try and do that to the top it just doesn't work it hits this boundary and it says no <laughs> no chance so if we look in edit section we've got the height of the section here so intuitively you'd go okay mm, small let's try that or you know well you're not going to do large but then you could do three dots and then you can put it down to one and this looks close but if we go really uh, deep in here you can see that we've got this small white line at the top of the section and it's the same at the bottom as well so if i zoom back out what we need to do super simple is go into edit section and then we want to untoggle this fill screen and that basically means our whole section is filled with the grid here. So the grid goes all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom like this. So if you wanted the section to be full bleed and you wanted the image to sit flush against the side, the top and the bottom, we just pull this out and there you can see it's nice and flush. Now I would recommend also just checking the mobile view as well because once you click fill screen, it will mess with the mobile view. So what I would say is just resize to your liking. So I'm going to move that against there. I'm going to drag this up against here. And then I'm also just going to move this up here, move this up, and then we'll just drag this up as well. If we get rid of the grid, you can see we've got a nice section on mobile. And then we've got a nice section on desktop. So that's how you make a full bleed section on Squarespace. If you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.